Today we're going to be uh, testing the proper operation and uh, continuity of a shift solenoid on a 5R1110W um, torque shift transmission. Uh, this is the C solenoid. It's one of four sh uh, standard shift solenoids. Um, there's four in there that, that are the same. Um, then you have the, the coast clutch solenoid and the, the direct drive solenoid. Those two are the same. And then you, uh, there's a TCC solenoid. Um, so what I've done is I've connected an alligator test lead to one of the pins in there. Got the other end connected to one end of my voltmeter. And the first test we're going to do is just to check uh, for a short to ground. No short there. We'll put it on the other pin. Check for short to ground. No short. Then we will go ahead and connect our second test lead. actually get them on the pins there. Now we will do a ohm continuity test. Standard reading is 4.7 to 4.9. Um, this voltmeter tends to read a little high. Um, but it looks like we're right in range there. All right, now what we'll do is uh, go ahead and do just a battery 12 volt test. And connected to the negative battery lead there and the positive battery lead here. And it is functioning. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I'm liking to dip it into transmission fluid while I'm testing it um, because there is a, a piston in there that actually pumps fluid while you're retesting it. And uh, my theory is that if it's in a vat of clean transmission fluid, it'll pump out the old nasty transmission fluid. You can actually see it pump in there pumps out of both sides. This is the piston side and that's the valve side. I'm just doing slow methodical pulses. Uh, my idea here is to not only test it but to also kind of get fresh fluid in there and kind of help clean it out. But you're looking for a nice sharp click So you can get a good shot of the valves opening up there. You'd think they'd open up more, given the amount of fluid that goes through. That's it. The, the most important test is testing the ohms, making sure it's not shorted internally, and uh, making sure it operates. Uh, beyond that, they can leak, um, but you'd need a special like orifice tool to stick this in and air test it to test it for like a true leak. And uh, I don't feel like building one of those, and I don't have the time. So um, the basic test is all you need under most circumstances. That's it.